Hey friends, today we will learn about a very interesting topic that is EPO authentication. EPO authentication is the way to enter in the McAfee EPO. And uh, once you entered in the EPO, then only you can perform all the tasks related to EPO and related to McAfee EPO client agent, uh, such as uh, client task uh, assignment or policy configuration or product deployment. This all activity can be only performed after entering the current, correct authentication details. This authentication details are created when you install the McAfee EPO. And uh, now we will just enter entered in the McAfee EPO by uh, putting the correct details. I mean uh, user account and uh, password as well. Uh, it has just verified that I have entered correct detail then only I entered in the EPO. Now we will see uh, for uh, Active Directory uh, authentication uh, integration in McAfee EPO. For the Active Directory authentication you need to just go on the menu option and uh, go in the user option. This is the way from which you can create an account and you can uh, uh, assign the LDAP, I mean Active Directory user in the McAfee EPO and you can grant the permissions to that user as well. In this example, I can see there is the two account uh, is available. First is EPO admin. This is the default account which I used to act to enter in this EPO and this is the system account. This is the default also and built in account in McAfee EPO. Uh, because I will just learn about the new user account creation and integration with Active Directory. So I'm entering, I'm just clicking on the new user over here and uh, assigning the name. Uh, this is the name of uh, account username which can be used to access the McAfee EPO. Logon status is enabled. Uh, now uh, when I click on the username so I can see uh, uh, logon status is also visible over here. So because this is uh, in the enabled mode and uh, even you can also disable this uh, logon status as well. So once you disable this uh, logon status, so user cannot access or use user cannot log on the EP e policy orchestrator. So uh, after that, I can see authentication type. I have already told you like uh, in McAfee, we can configure uh, uh, various type of authentication and this is the default type of uh, authentication. So this is uh, default selected. And uh, if you want to create an account on EPO without Active Directory integration, so you can just use with this option. But if you want to integrate this account uh, with the Windows authentication. So Nishant is the name of the account, but authentication detail is the Active Directory. It means if you have configured uh, your Active Directory with the name, suppose uh, in the Active Directory you have an account Nishant.k. So, uh, so this account, this will be used to accessing the ePolicy orchestrator. This will be only as a used for the username, but the authentication detail and credential will be used for this account. So currently I am using this account and domain name is wintelpro.com. This is the domain name. So the uh, because uh, if you if you have configured Windows authentication, so you don't require the password because the password will be used of this account which is created inside the active directory and if you have if you will change the password of this account it means uh, the authentication detail will be also changed on the e policy orchestrator it means if you have a password uh, something password 1 in the active directory and uh, 
uh, if you are changing the password of uh, nissan.k password 1 to password uh, 3 so uh, during the e policy orchestrator login you required nissan.k a windows account i mean epo epo account and uh, password will be password 3 so only then you can access this account it means it is completely dependent on the active directory authentication so now you can configure the full name like uh, uh, nishant kumar even you can enter the email uh, email id as well So this is the uh, email account and uh, other things you can also assign over here and now uh, this is the manual manually assigned permission sets it means it is uh, if you have uh, created the account so what user can do in the e-policy orchestrator that can be uh, defined from this these permission sets currently i'm just going to assign the administrator rights in the later video we will see about uh, these all permission sets currently i am just assigning the administrator right and uh, we'll see how nissan k can access the epo and uh, after setting these all things i need to just click on save option uh, now i can see uh, this account has been created and these are the details uh, related to Nissan account, uh, username, logon status, and log status, and authentication type is also here. This is Windows authentication, and uh, full name and other details are here. If you want to delete this account, so you need to just click on the action and select any of these things so you can perform. If you want to delete, so just click on delete. If you want to disable, just click on disable. So account status will be disabled. And if you want to edit something, either you want to change the Windows authentication detail, so just click here. So after clicking on edit options, so you can perform as per your requirement. Uh, currently, we will see uh, to access this account through the EPO. I'm just logging out from this uh, EPO admin account because currently EPO admin is logged in and uh, I need to just log off and uh, need to verify this account. Now I can see uh, I have just entered in this EPO with the Nissan account which I have uh, configured with new account. So this is the way to create an account in EPO and integrate with Active Directory uh, win Windows authentication. Uh, thank you for watching this video.